Today, we came together to have a circle about a problem Ms. Thomas had with Jonathan. This is the talking piece, and the talking piece is used for, um, we pass it around the circle, and the person who holds the talking piece is the only one who's talking. So, yeah, we're gonna start with a check-in. We should start with Ms. Thomas. I'm a little tired from today's work, but I feel um, happy and good about what we may accomplish here. Yeah, I'm feeling good. We had a nice, um, fun day today, feeling relaxed. Um, and um, we've had conversations before with Jonathan and uh, Ms. Thomas, so I'm looking forward to continuing that and, and doing that work. I'm doing good today. Mm. The reason we're here is because me and Ms. Thomas had an argument before. And so we're here to resolve that problem and trying to be in a good relationship. And all that stuff. I'm doing pretty well today. Well, better than I was before. And yeah, I'm excited to get the circle going. Now we're going to do guidelines. We just respect the guidelines and we pass the talking piece around. Okay. So a guideline that I have is to not talk while the other person is talking. One of my guidelines is respect the person and don't comment when you gotta rush your hand if you wanna comment. For me, you no know, put downs or um, remarks that may hurt somebody's feelings. Okay, so now I'm gonna pass the talking piece around and we're gonna explain what happened. So, Ms. Thomas? Well, I asked for the circle so that I could find out why Jonathan sometimes interrupts lessons by talking to others or talking back to me when I try to get him back on staff task. Um, one of my reasons is the first day I got here, I was doing great. But well, then after time, I started meeting people, and my, my attitude changed a little, because I started annoying people. So I, then I started getting mad with my situation between you and me, because I know that was my fault too, because I, I stopped doing homework, started talking back to you. But yeah, we're here to resolve that problem, and we're going to continue doing it. Mr. Thomas, do you have anything to say? Well. I'll say incidents that I see. I'll just show you some of the things. The going like this, and sometimes the students don't know whether you uh, are trying to hit them or not, and they, I think they feel threatened when you do that. And then sometimes the way you look at me and others, I, the look is kind of like, uh, I don't think it's respectful. And I, other kids say, why are you looking at me like that? So it's the gestures, the looks, and then talking out while I'm teaching. I just want to find out why you have, make comments sometimes that I don't understand. Um, yeah, just to, to add to that, I really see, Jonathan, I really see you as a leader in the, in the class and a lot of the other kids, um, you know, Libran and, and Yaya and so, you know, some of the other kids really, really look up to you. And I feel like when you're, when you're doing that kind of threatening behavior, it makes it okay for them to do it in a lot of ways. Um, the reason why sometimes I like calming people about their things, when they, what they had to say, is because since I know people now, so I just want to make people laugh. And well, I know I've been kind of saying some negative, but well, that thing will change into um, the future. Mm -hmm. Ms. Thomas, do you have anything to add? I, I would like before we finish to kind of find out um, how I can help you move through a lesson without the distraction. 
do you kind of do you understand that your that your behavior affects other people in that way? Yeah. Just wondering, like. Yeah, I'm response to yours, and uh, um, more fun to yours first. Uh, one thing that you can do is, I don't know, like sometimes you overreact, I think, and like I know sometimes we we like don't listen to you, do bad things, but um. Sometimes you like kind of like bring the outside to the inside, and sometimes you like overreact. So that's like one thing you can like kind of don't bring the outside to the inside. But I know sometimes we like make you mad because we don't do our work, homework. So yeah, that's one thing. Mm, I don't got no problem. I'm not a problem with you. That's the only thing. I had to. Okay. I want clarification on what the outside to the inside mean. I mean, I mean like you said, like sometimes you got like problems with things that like people in the outside do to you. And like sometimes you say you don't feel well. And like sometimes when you're mad and you're trying to put it on us. And if we do like talk, you like start yelling at us. So yeah, that's one thing like I would like you to change on that. Okay, I still need clarification. You mean outside of school or outside of our classroom? Outside of school. I don't have problems outside the classroom. I, if I'm tired or I'm sick, I mean my problem. I mean like. I'll say how other kids have done me in the past. Yeah, kind of, okay. kind of like that, like, you, like okay. your past, saying your past, like saying, saying you don't feel good about some, something you, you didn't do right, and you're trying to, they're trying to make it clear. It's, <laughs> it's like, sometimes in the morning you come inside and say you don't feel very good because somebody did something to you or something like that, a student or something. Mm -hmm. And then you're trying to bring it to everybody in the class. That's one thing I like, trying to talk, something, something trying to say. But None of that goes on in my head. Yeah. The only thing that I can relate to you saying that is I see the same behavior in you and the whole class that I might have seen in the bigger circle downstairs and I'm letting you all know I'm not having it. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it might be something. Uh, you know, and I can work on it, and I can say specifically, this is what happened downstairs. It's not happening in my room. I, I can say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I'm trying to okay. say okay. that. So. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually glad that came up, because you're going to make me do a lot of reflection over the weekend. Um, but back to you and, you know, my relationship with you, um, I want to learn how to communicate more effectively. So now that I know that's the way you feel, then I can pull you to the side or I can say, Jonathan, you know, talking while I'm talking or talking back to me, I can't have it right now. Can we talk about this later? So I think now we need to come up with how you and I can find a way. And then maybe we can talk about this in our whole group circle, see if others feel that way. Uh, yeah, one thing is that uh, it's my fault too because when I feel like you're like overreacting, mm -hmm. I just talk back to you, sometimes say something negative. Mm -hmm. So one thing that Mr. Jowis and Mr. Uh, talk about is I'll ask you what happened mm -hmm. after class or when you free time so you won't get mad mm -hmm. or I will like stop the lesson. So that's one of the things I can do to make a change so I can find out what happened, um, like what I did and all that stuff. Um, that can like get me out of trouble and not bring me into trouble, you know. Just so maybe we want to just solidify some agreements. <laughs> oh, so my agreement is to um, maybe think before I speak to let, try to make sure my words say it's you and maybe the classroom behavior that's bothering me, 
and not I'm still mad about something that happened downstairs or in my life outside of school. So that'll be one agreement I'm willing to make I can think of off the top of my head. Mm. Well, my agreement, is, like I said, is trying to get away from the people I can get in trouble and do my homework and don't talk back to you. Yes, trying to find out what happened in your free time or mm. after class. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I agree to be here for you guys if you need another circle. I can help you out with that. Um, another thing I thought about maybe we could do is do check-ins, uh, maybe weekly, mm -hmm. until we feel like uh, we've established a good relationship. Yeah, one of, uh, something I'm really going to be looking for, Jonathan, is the, the leadership role that you've, you've been asked to, to lead some circles in the classroom. And for me, a big part of that is I need to see, you know, that, that, that's, a, that's a, a role that requires a lot of responsibility, a lot of trust, and, and to be a circle keeper, you, it takes a lot of modeling, appropriate communication, and appropriate behavior. So I'm going to be really looking to you to to being a model of, to, to modeling, um, you know, a good, just positive circle contribution. Okay, so I appreciate you guys coming together and asking me to be a part of the circle. And yeah, just appreciate how you guys follow the rules and everything. I appreciate Jonathan's honesty and uh, yeah, a lot to think about. I appreciate um, you being receptive to this process and allowing us to have a conversation instead of just no more talking to each other. So I thank you for that. Samira, I appreciate you for, for helping us out with this process and really being dedicated to, to um, helping your peers and, and your school community. Thank you. Appreciate Ms. Thomas and you two for bringing me here to try to resolve my problem so we can be in a good relationship. Later on, like next week sometime, we can all get together and see how everything has worked out. <laughs>